All right, folks. Tim here again from High End Cheap Deck, and I'm in a good mood today because I made a decision. Uh, if you watched recent videos, I'll link them below. But my Dell monitor slowly dying. It's not quite dead, but it's going to be. So I'm going to order a monitor from Walmart today that I talked about previously. I'll throw a picture up when we get to the main portion, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Um, and beyond that, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going to be upcoming due to purchasing that product. So, watch the intro. I'm in a good mood, even though I got a blinding headache behind my right eye here. Uh, let's get to that intro. All right, folks, I'm back, and obviously I said before the intro, uh, we're going to be getting the monitor you'll see coming up on the screen, covering my beautiful face for a few seconds. It's a scepter monitor. It's 22 inches. It has HDMI and VGA and DVI inputs and $79 and change from Wall Wally World, Walmart. I should get it in two days. Depends on what time I get around to ordering it. So, what made me suddenly make the decision to go out and buy it? I mean, I'm usually a few dollars short. Well, I use a net spend card when I buy stuff online. I know it costs you like three something to load it, but let's face it, you buy what you need, you're down to a zero balance almost. Yeah. So if somebody gets a hold of your credit card number, it doesn't matter. You refill it, order, you're done. And, wow, hmm, yeah, I'm a little paranoid about any other kind of card or banking numbers. And uh, so, I looked in there the other day and I got an extra $20, and I'm like, where? Because I keep track of it in my head. I don't usually check the balance too much. Turns out, way back when I ordered the voice pop mic that they paid me to order, I thought they sent me too much money. I actually read through my transaction history. Guess what? Mike Reed, one of our subscribers and a guy I subscribe to, uh, Sent twenty dollars over. Mike, don't do that anymore. Mike's been extremely helpful to this channel. He now has over a thousand subscribers, and if you don't go to his channel and look it over, check out some of his videos, learn some stuff. I will hunt you down and kill you. I wish I could do a Liam Neeson accent, but I can't. So uh, in the next segment, I'll I'll show you exactly what you're going to see upcoming due to this purchase today. Let's get to it. All right, folks, so let's pretend for a second that's the new monitor. Well, it's not going to sit where the Dell sit. It's going to sit right in the middle here of the desk. Kind of cool, right? Mm-hmm. Probably ought to straighten up my Wi-Fi now. Ooh, there. Um... Well, but then it's going to overhang this thing. Wrong. Because the last video, I'm going to do an unbox. I'm going to do a review. And then I am going to show you how to put this $79 monitor to use as an all-in-one PC. How are you going to do that? Well, first you need one of these. Yes. What's that? Why? That is called a Visa, V-E-S-A, that's a mount. You put your screws into the back of the monitor, which the new monitor is going to have holes for mounting it. And see these little hooks? 
and swing over to the Zotac real quick. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details because there'll probably be a ton of them. I'll have to swing my antenna up like that for my Wi-Fi. And then underneath here, see these cutouts? There's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Depending on how you're going to hang it, it's going to sit like this in the case of this one. Uh, in other words, I'm going to you know, come over here with it like so, and uh, you're gonna, you know, find those holes, hook it down, and slide it up. And it'll latch in. It's just gonna hang from those. Then all your cables can run out the back and up to the front. The only one that's gonna be a worry is this one hanging from that USB port. Might need some kind of a USB to USB extender cable and then leave that and I'll have an all-in-one but we'll go into really good detail when that time comes about you can probably do that with just about any mini PC I just prefer the Zotax uh, because they have so many damn ports on them and that's all I got for today so check out the little icon that comes up and be reminded Thanks for dropping in. Subscribe. Click the subscriber bell. Not on the screen, dummy. In down below the video. And then uh, give us a thumbs up. Share this video. And who knows? Maybe we'll get above 200 and 70 subscribers before the weekend's over. I don't know. We'll find out. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.